Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is September 29th, and right now we are looking at the mid-level water vapor loop. You can see that we've got this frontal system rolling through Northern California. It's approaching Central California, some of the Bay Area as we speak, hoping this band of precipitation can maintain its integrity as it reaches the Bay Area here. Looking for a little bit of rainfall out of this. And we're getting a pattern change and getting some southerly winds blowing here across some of the region as well. We got some more activity coming. As you can see, this storm system out here to the north and west. This is under development. It's going to set up shop here off the coastal waters of the Pacific Northwest, but also enter in, usher in another frontal system as well. So we'll go over those details and we'll take a look at what is likely to come through the extended forecast. Lightning strikes last 24 hours. You can see the Sierra Nevada was favored there. Did get some right there, kind of north, the eastern portion of San Bernardino County. A lot of that lightning was across Nevada and some of western Arizona there as well and some of the offshore waters. Let me see. Let's go back and see if that was last two hours. Yeah, there you go. Last hour, last two hours there. So there have been some strikes with this frontal system pushing in this morning. There's the last six hours just off the coastal areas there of extreme northwestern California. So here we go right now. You can see this band of rainfall pushing towards the Bay Area. It's not going to be a lot there, but you know, it's kind of a novelty here. One of the first fall frontal systems moving through the region. You can kind of see the clouds pushing down towards the central coast as well. Now, if you want a nice affordable home weather station has its own lightning detection system. I'm so jealous of the kids nowadays that have something like this. I wish I had something like this when I was growing up. I was always using my manual uh, weather station stuff that I would just, whatever you could find rain gauge and whatnot but yeah this is very fun i mean it builds its own forecast for your individual location stores all the data for you in the cloud click on the link down below to save 10 percent off so they are talking about a little bit of an excessive rainfall potential here with this frontal system rolling through nothing too extreme though and you know they do a nice discussion down here as well and they do mention some instability out there as well with the afternoon heating and a few thunderstorms also so yeah nothing too extreme though now taking a look here at that frontal system and you can see the remnants of narda down here you can see that its moisture really does not get up towards california at all and we get another tropical system developing down here that one doesn't look like it's any threat to california right now but we do have these frontal systems rolling in there's the first one there and then there's a storm i talked about it's going to set up shop in the offshore waters of the pacific northwest that's also going to bring a frontal system could bring some measurable rainfall down towards the bay area or some of the central coast as well we'll take a look at that potential here in a moment you can see the slow pressure system kind of spinning and filling there right over vancouver island as we go through this upcoming week and then we get some interesting stuff going on we get a ridge building across the pacific ocean here well into the gulf of alaska and we might get kind of an inside slider here which could t turn winds out of the north or even offshore as we go through the upcoming week and more on that here in a moment but look at this you can see that a disturbance number one is likely to develop into a tropical cyclone over the next seven days we got other couple areas of, of possible development here as well as we stay active here off the west coast of mexico and from narda we are getting this elevated surf this continues through tomorrow so just throwing this out there again, you can see the surf four to seven sets to eight feet on south and southwest facing beaches. Los Angeles National Weather Service talking about it as well all the way on in through Wednesday. So strong southerly winds Tuesday, Eureka, California. This is what's known as a wind sock there. This is some kind of uh, airport out there. I'm not sure exactly which one, but this is what pilots will look at to see wind direction and speed. Uh, but yeah, some gusty winds coming here. We're flipping the switch here on the winds and bringing them out of the south. Also, the Bay Area talking about between a tenth and two tenths of an inch of precipitation, maybe a little bit down towards Big Sur. Definitely bigger amounts north of the Bay Area. You can see Cloverdale up towards an inch, maybe Santa Rosa half an inch towards an inch also. Now, taking a look at where we are here on 925 millibar winds. So you can see the remnants of Narda out there kind of harmlessly spinning. There's our frontal system right now. We're turning those winds southerly. And then you see the next storm system out there developing off the Pacific Northwest. Ushers in that next frontal system here as we go through. It looks like Tuesday night and on in through the day Wednesday. It's that's weakening rapidly as it moves across Central California there. And then as you see, as we go off into the end of the week, you see these winds start to turn out of the north and east there. Maybe some offshore Wind, some stronger north winds coming down the Sacramento Valley, and then maybe out of the northeast here as we go towards the weekend here. So we'll have to watch out for that. If any fires are still ongoing out there, we could kind of kick off some of that activity a little bit more here as well. 
but yeah, a little bit of a pattern change maybe coming towards the weekend there. Now, if we take a look at composite reflectivity, I, I don't know that it's picking up that band too high. It looks a, bit, a little bit more defined on the actual Doppler radar, but it does show some of that trying to get down towards the Bay Area. It doesn't have much of it making it there. But then the second frontal system comes through and it shows a little bit better chance here for the Bay Area of picking up some rainfall as we go on into Tuesday night and towards Wednesday morning. Now, lightning flash density, there is the chance of a thunderstorm or too as this frontal system is swinging through today maybe the shasta county convergence zone might get going a little bit here as we go through this afternoon and evening uh just show a little bit of lightning up there and then we scroll off in towards tuesday and here we go that does not going out quite far enough for that next frontal system anyway but yeah we do have that thunderstorm potential here today and tonight and looking at total precipitation and in inches on last night's european ensemble run it does show some decent amounts for the bay area as we go on in you know, this is wrapping up what Thursday morning. It shows over a quarter of an inch, definitely better amounts. So up towards the Crescent City, for example, some of the Sierra Nevada picking up some decent amounts, and maybe a little bit of light precipitation all the way down towards Point Conception with these couple of frontal systems. As far as snow is going, it's going to be chillier aloft, but you're not looking at much. You can see that's Mount Shasta right there. That might be just kind of model noise and whatnot, but you can see across some of the very higher terrain, some precipitation could be falling in the form of snow. So you'd have to go pretty high up there we're not expecting disruptions on i-80 or anything like that or even on the local back roads so you might see some snow mixing in there but not too big of a deal right now but if you're a hiker or a camper off in the back country it is definitely noteworthy because you're going to feel the difference in the temperature it's probably ongoing already as we speak now, near normal temperature is kind of a mixed bag, some below normal across California as we go through October 4th through 8th, and we go to the precipitation and take that with a grain of salt. We'll see how that turns out, but it's starting to show that below normal signal there as that big ridge builds out over the Pacific Ocean. We'll see how that trends and check out the Patreon page if you like as well. Probably a great way if you want to donate some of your hard-earned money towards the channel. Patreon is probably the best way to do that. And also, I'm kicking up a worldwide weather watch again as well. I'll just be doing this when there's other noteworthy weather events across the planet, wherever they may be, whatever catches my fancy, and we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, I'll stop rambling here. Uh, click like and subscribe. We'll do this all again tomorrow, and I'll talk to you guys then.